Okay, okay, we are back, we're back. <clears throat> All right, so today we want to touch on apps that uh, build for event planners or conferences. All right, so if you have an event um, that you like to have an app for, um, at least reach people quicker. Um, having a website is one, it's good. But when people are, are, are in the event and they're enjoying themselves, no one is going to the website. Okay, no one is going to the website. So um, if you have an app, people can have it on their phone. Um, quick things, they can be able to see what's going on. Communication can be quicker. You can build um, teams, kind of chat for your team. Um, and also the pain points will be a lot of printing. Because on events, you have so much printing that pretty much no one wanna carry papers around, right? Either in a conference or in a, um, in an event, okay? So when when people, uh, when you go, go to events, you have a lot of people having um, paper, right? You have a lot of papers, right? So uh, it, this one will cut down on printing. Um, that's save the environment. <laughs> Um, and then the communication, there will be a lot of communication breakdown because maybe you want to bring people to a certain section of the event or you want to move a lot of people to a certain section of the event. So um, doing those calls and stuff like that, um, an app, send them a push notification because most people are taking pictures, are taking videos, they are moving around with their phones, right? So if they see a pop-up, it's like, oh, there are people are going to this section. Right, so it kind of helps you move people around. Um, directions, let's say you have after parties for the conferences, uh, you have restaurants you want to promote, vendors you want to promote. It's way easier to promote them on an app than on the website. <clears throat> you can still have them on the website, people can go, uh, but during the event, um, an app will be your best bet because now you have more engagement, locked in people you have them uh, and you can be able to send them uh, notifications and things like that, which is my favorite, sending push notifications, okay? Um, <clears throat> and then I've already touched on this, or what's happening right now, people will be like, yeah, what's happening? Where, where's, uh, where, 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 where's a lot of people, right? So you, they can be able to, you can be able to send them to um, what's happening right now. They can see on the app, they can pick up stuff on it for the events. Uh, if it's a conference, they can pick up, um, they can see the, um, the schedules, where things are happening, where they can go in, they can register right on the app. So there's so much things you can be able to do if you have people on the app than on a website. All right, so first things first, you can do this yourself <laughs> or hire us, but uh, you go to diyapps.ca, diyapps.ca. So that's the website um, <clears throat> where the magic happens. All right, so... The first thing you'll see uh, will be our the home page. So you can look at the demo features and things like that. Um, and then you click on get started. And then we have, uh, right now we don't have a specific event. Um, so I might, I might need to change that up uh, events only section so that it will be easier. But right now it's under chambers. All right, so under chambers, uh, for our sample right now, we only have one because um, they're easy to build. They're not that hard to build. Um, it doesn't require a lot of complex things. So um, so this is a nice one to start with. Uh, okay, let's go back. I just want to show you some. So get started. And then chambers, events. So here you can share your event. Uh, you can do your image gallery. So you have images from previous events. Uh, you can share conference news. Uh, let's say you have a blog for the conference or the event. Uh, you can link if you're gonna do a live feed. They can be able to find your links here. Uh, really, really powerful. Um, you have your speakers. If your speakers, um, they want to have an in-app chat to chat personally or have groups, you can be able to set that up in the app, all right? Um, and then your contact information, uh, people to share the app, and then pretty much that's it. So you click on the start uh, template, 
uh, you put the name, you select the industry. So right now the industry will be events or uh, events. Okay, let's pick one, let's do entertainment. Put your first name, put your website, put your email, uh, put your password, agree to the terms, and then hit on get started. So usually not all of them are required, as you can see, some of them are a must. And then once we hit get started, it takes you to this dashboard, all right? So this is the app dashboard. Um, this is where now all the um, editing kind of comes through. So we'll go through, um, so for your plugin tutorials, this is where it's gonna be product updates. Um, and our biggest thing will be uh, learn more. So when you click on learn more, this will give you an opportunity to see uh, how you can build the app from scratch and also how you can edit and things like that. So if you have any questions about the apps, our uh, knowledge share, uh, knowledge base, uh, will be able to answer those questions. Um, so how to build an app? So like, man, how can I build my event app? I'm gonna click on the event. And you see, pretty much has everything for you. You can follow this tutorial and see uh, where things kind of link for you. Um, another piece I wanted to share is the upgrade. So once you're good to go, uh, ready your approval, your publishing information. Um, once you upgrade, then you can be able to publish the app. So you hit on upgrade, you get um, 21 days, pretty much right now when you start and then you continue 21 days for free. And then you can use our coupon code DIY apps 100 and get $100 off for the first six months. Okay. So that way you can be able to leverage the time and also the our, um, our cost to get you going. Um, if you have clients, uh, let's say you're a marketing agency and you're using this platform, because it's pretty much uh, white label, no one can know where it's coming from. Um, you can be able to pull a number, send the uh, mobile app, mobile uh, a PWA version of the mobile app to someone to review so they can see the progress. So that's one another powerful thing about um, this uh, platform and, uh, and I love it. I use it for my clients. Um, what else I wanted to share? So this is the first screen. So a lot of things I wanted to share. So language, you can change your language um, depending if English is not your strong suite, um, then you can be able to change the platform language, not the app language, just the platform language so that it can able to help you develop the app better. Um, okay, so first let's go to the home screen. So you go to the right, uh, left menu, right menu. I think it's the right, yeah. Um, and then click on home screen. So this is the first screen that when people lo uh, download your app, um, there's some intro screens if you already have set it up, but if there's no intro screen, then this is the first screen they will see. Um, as you can see the way it's set up, it's only one page. So we can do uh, D I Y apps conference and events. <laughs> um, all right, so let's try. Let's see. Okay, that doesn't look nice. All right, and then uh, these other these other buttons. These are more um, geared to. Um, the plugins, the features that you already used to, right? So you see like your speaker section, your gallery, com uh, conference, forum, contact. These are all, uh, you click on action and you can pick the, you can pick the, um, what do you call this? Um, the features, which are plugins, right? Plugins and features the same thing. So I use the, and then when you wanna add a level, let's say you wanna group them, you can click on add level and this will create a new page. So the only thing you need to do once you're in that page, then you, you can add more stuff. So you like, you're creating levels um, as you build. Okay, so we go back one page. Uh, we can remove this, we don't need it. Um, we can take out this one. Okay, um, so the other part will be uh, the design. So the content design, layout, security, tagging, purchase, analytics. So 
those top menus will be the same for every feature. Uh, some features will have more, some features will have less, uh, but that will be consistent on all uh, features. So you can be able to see and um, play around and, and by each uh, plugin or feature. All right, so design right now, we don't have any background. So if you wanna change the background color or the background image, you can be able to do that here. Uh, right now, the layouts that we have um, it's pretty much the buttons and that will be this one here. If you want to change that, this is my favorite, right? <laughs> I do love this one. Uh, but right now we don't have any images for the background. So let's just leave the icon one. Uh, for security, if you want to have people to sign in before they, um, they use the app, then you can do that. Uh, you can use user tags and things like that. Um, tagging. So this is used, uh, you can have this set up for each screen so that when someone visits, it, visits a screen, you can be able to know how many people visited the particular screen and be able to target those specific people because now you you know their interests and things like that. Um, purchases, uh, this is best if you are doing in-app purchases. Um, so this is where you can set up like this particular skin uh, for someone to be able to pay before they use it. And then analytics is just analytics, uh, let you know how many people uh, visited the page, uh, who's your top users, and pretty much the details. As usual, when you see the lock, that means you need to upgrade. All right, so the next part will be uh, application components, um, the features. So this is all the features that are on this dashboard, like this platform right now that you are using. Um, and then now you have to attach it to the app itself. Um, but we have the marketplace. So the marketplace this is where you can get all bunch of plugins for your app. Depend doesn't matter which app you are building. Um, this is where you can, some features here you don't like because they are default. You can just go to the marketplace, uh, pick up new ones. Um, as I click on the marketplace, you can pick a lot of other apps depending on your plan. Um, if you have the highest plan, then you pretty much have access to everything. If you have the premium or the standard, just depends um, which plugins are premium and which plugins are standard. Uh, but you can see even like the standard stuff, you, you get really amazing, uh, powerful uh, plugins. All right, so the side menu, uh, the side menu will be uh, this here, right? Um, you can be able to highlight uh, things that people can access on the side menu if you don't want them to access them on the, on the main screen, okay, the home screen. So you can set them set them up for the side menu. Um, and then we have the nav bar. The nav bar will be at the bottom here. You can turn them on and off right now. It's on, uh, let's add an item so that you can be able to see. So you have the agenda, right? Then when someone clicks it, it takes them to the agenda. Uh, right now it's pretty much using the events uh, plugin, but you can always change that. Uh, let's go back to the nav bar and then turn that off. Um, let's say intro screens. Uh, so this is what I was talking about. So if you have intro screens, this will be perfect for introducing people to your app. Or for this particular uh, event, this is a conference. So you can have um, conference information here get them like excited about the uh, event and be able to use, uh, continue to use the app. Okay, so now that's um, the intro screens uh, design. So for the branding side of things, um, the best thing about this, you can be able to add a lot of uh, your branding for your, for your event on the app so that people can feel one as the app, right? So we have, you can change your text, you can change your background and all those such things. And then um, for the media library, um, this is where all the images will go. Any images that you have been using for the app, they will all go here. They are nicely optimized and uh, be ready to use for your app. Um, the login screen. So login screen, um, it's login screen. Right, so you can have your login. Um, for the settings, you can change, uh, have your Apple sign in, Facebook, Google, uh, and also uh, Twitter, which is now X. 
um, and then let's for customize if you have certain uh, data points that you like to collect when people are signing up. This is where you can put it on uh, and get people using it. Um, and that's, this will help you with your marketing in the future. This will also help you with um, some of the push notifications and things like that that you'll be able to send to people. Um, language, as we mentioned about, language is just, let's say you don't want to say sign in with Apple, you can sign up with Apple, sign, continue with Apple, you can say stick with Apple, right? Just small, small changes that you can do, uh, make it more customized. Um, yeah, terms and conditions. Um, in app purchases this is where you're gonna set it up and be able to get people to uh, pay to be able to access certain sections of the app. Uh, for your credit system, uh, if you, I don't know, for some reason you have people paying 100 credits or something for the event to access certain portions of the event and they can be able to redeem that as they go. Uh, push notification, as I said, this is one of my favorites. Um, you can be able to send out push notification on instant push of a button. You can have groups where I talked about segmenting people uh, with the tags and user tags, visiting different screens. This is where you can be able to set that up. Uh, you can be able to schedule them for the future and get people kind of get the, get people um, notifi notified as things go on. And geofence. So this is really cool. Um, whenever people um, get into a certain location, then they can get a get a notification, right? So you can geofence a certain spot, um, get people excited downloading the app, and then when they are when they are ready to download the app, whenever they are, so when they come to the event, once they're in that area, then they can be able to get a push notification. Welcome to the event. Welcome to the conference. And they'll be like, how do these people know I'm here? Yeah, <laughs> right. And then the analytics will be uh, definitely how many push notifications were sent out, how many people opened um, the push notification, um, how many people clicked on the action on the push notification. Okay, so that, that was very, very nice. Um, you know, users, um, so this is where you can manage all the users on the app. Um, you can be able to uh, ban them, delete them, uh, kind of moderate. I'm able to get people um, know how many people are signing up, how many, and you can just see <coughs> users like that, whoever has signed up. Um, the user tags, the ones which we talked about, uh, you can be able to manage them all here. If you have different admin roles, you can be able to set them here. Uh, user profile languages, so you can set up different languages within the app um, when people see. Abuse reports. So when someone reports some, when someone reports someone, <laughs> when someone reports someone, they will welcome the abuse report, and this is where you can either ban them, delete them, or pretty much prevent them from using the app uh, once you have done your investigation and things like that. Um, analytics. Um, this is the app analytics. So this will give you the downloads and the total user. So downloads. Uh, for all platforms, either Apple, Android, um, all together, total users will let you know how many people have signed up uh, for the app. Um, the advanced section, um, this, uh, if you wanted to, once you are ready to publish your app, all the information for publishing info, app connection requests, uh, this is like either you are doing uh, requesting for location or requesting for uh, things like that, you can be able to set them up here, but usually, we leave them by default because uh, the platform will take that take care of that for you. Um, app share settings, integrations. If you wanted to integrate integrate with other um, kind of <clears throat> um, other platforms that are are um, that are compatible with the platform. Okay. All right. So go back to the dashboard. So yeah. So pretty much. This platform, as an event event planner or a conference, you can be able to grow your events and make your events a memorable event using an app. All right. So, if you have, if you ever want any support, uh, you can email us at hello at diyapps.ca. We're able to get in a call for you with you, be able to chat and see how best we can be able to help you, and. 
uh, pretty much get you successful and get you going with an app for your event or for your conference. Other than that, I want to thank you for your time. Message us um, and let's continue to make you stronger and better. All right.